Oh, scheiße, this is not good. The money is running away faster than a duck's hund on fire. We need to do something about this. Jochen! Jochen! Yes, Herr Rolf, you called. What is los? We need to get the plan up and running straight away. Are you really sure that this will work? Don't question me. Just go meet them. Aber I have a bad feeling about this. Don't question me. Just go. Okay, Herr Rolf. <laughs> I reckon that the meeting with the Swedish tourist board went well, Jochen. Yes, Herr Rolf. They loved our idea. They assured me that as long as we signed lots of Swedes, we would get much money from people coming to Rostock to watch the games. These are excellent news, Jochen. I had a feeling that they would love the idea, so I have already signed the Swede. What do you think of this guy? Well, at least he has a very nice mullet. Exactly. Business at the front and party at the back. The fans will love him. I'm still not sure what manager Markus Albeck will think of this. It is not your job to be sure. It is your job to convince him that this is an excellent idea. Go tell him. Okay, Herr Rolf. Hello, Markus. I have news for you. Can we do this later? I'm in the middle of practice. No, no, this is important. Herr Rolf has sent me. Okay, I'll just let one of my assistants take over. What do you want? Herr Rolf has signed a player for you. A Swede. Very experienced. Someone to help you gain promotion. Is it true? A Swede? Experienced? Someone to help me in promotion? Could it be? <laughs> well, not exactly. It's uh, this guy. Are you kidding me? Anders Bort. He looks like he's coming from a Spandau Ballet tribute band. What am I going to do with him? Well, he's not the only one. Uh, we have uh, this guy. And this. And this. And this. You must be absolutely kidding me. You do realize that we are playing one of the most important games in many, many years for Hans Rostock tomorrow, and you come with this shit. Get out of here, Jochen. Aber, Markus, get out of here. So here we go. Hello and welcome. Welcome to Swedish Mafia, the FM20 adventure where we try to get Hansa Rostock back to the Bundesliga. And once we get there, we will try to win a game with six Swedish players in the starting 11. Uh, now it seems like owner Herr Rolf has started collecting Swedes prematurely in some sort of get rich quick scheme. Uh, but Marcus Albeck is not having any of it because we are in for one important game, the game that is going to settle our fate. When I left you the last time, we had drawn against Würzburg, and after that we looked really solid, until we stopped looking solid. We looked like a surefire promotion side, but after two points in the last three games, this is really exciting again. We are two points ahead of Braunschweig and Ingolstadt in the hunt for the direct promotion spot or playoff spot. And we are playing 20th placed Jenna. And I know what you are thinking. You are thinking that this is going to be a walk in the park. The problem is that Jenna is one of our fiercest rivals. So they are going to fight until the bitter end. We have Farnerud. Of course he's injured. He is out for 7 to 10 months now. Uh, just got back, so we need to find another player there. But except for that, we have a decent squad. Butsen comes back. Where is central midfielders? Nicholas Nate comes in. We are going with that. 
wish us luck because this is one important game. Thank you, Aaron. One nil up after 16 minutes and it's exactly the start we were hoping for. Seventh goal of the season. Nice assist by Nils Butzen. If we win this one, then we are going to get promoted. Otherwise, this will be down to what our competitors do. Omnilich with the ball. Gets into the box. Paya. Paya! We are 2 0 up. This might actually be a walk in the park. Because no matter what the other teams do, if we win, we get promoted. Bayer scores his 17th goal of the season, and it's Nick Omnilich, the man who has suffered the most after the Swedish ride. What a goal. What a finish. This, ladies and gentlemen. It's looking like it's in the bag. And as I say that, Jenna, they attack on us. Will they turn this into a game again? No. Kubler's shot is not good enough. More than 30 minutes passed. We are comfortably leading. And we are dominating that stats twice as well. Can they get a goal just before half time? No, they cannot. We go to the half time rest with a 2 0 lead, and I'm actually going to tell the players I am happy with that. I'm happy. Just do the same thing for the second half 2 0, 3 0, 4 0. I don't care as long as we win this and gain promotion from this god forsaken league. Nothing happening, which is good for us and as I say that they get a chance can we win the ball encounter or is it going to be their highlight we will see Koipa we save that one they're going to get the most high place of Omlinich and Opuku Wolman and Vice. Twenty five minutes left. Let's just end this in style, finish second, get that promotion. That would be absolutely lovely. But you can't do what Rieben did there. If you want to get a promotion, Kubler shoots and it's a go, and this is exciting again. Why does it need to get exciting again? Twenty minutes left. We need to hold on. Fifteen. Chance for us. Give me three one so I don't have to sweat like crazy. Nate, Butson, Volman, Engelhart. Fire on the spoon. The man with the male mullet, the Spandau Ballet wannabe, he sent us to the Zweite Bundesliga. Herr Rolf seems to know exactly what he's doing and the Swedish tourist board, they are loving it. People are just flowing over the border from Sweden to Denmark, from Denmark to Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, Hans Rostock. It's a Zweite Bundesliga team. I'm even going to tell them I'm happy with that. You secured us promotion. And this is it. We finished second in the third Bundesliga. Even though we were promoted to finish. Projected to finish eighth. Würzburg win. They were projected to finish seventh. We've caused upsets both of us. But this is exactly what we need. We need to get into a league where we have a decent chance to make decent money.
perfect result against a rival. I'm really happy that you took the time to watch this episode with me. When I see you next time, you will know what sort of budget we have to use and if we can find any decent signings as we go into this right to Bundesliga. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. Hi, McLean UFM here under my infamous flight of stairs. I really appreciate that you took the time to watch this episode that I had a lot of fun recording. I hope that you liked it and if you did, I'd appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and gave me a thumbs up because that helps me out a lot. Uh, there are new episodes out on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and then we also have the occasional stream on Twitch on Tuesdays or Thursdays and during the weekend I have sort of a weekly summary uh, blog post coming out. Uh, I know it's an ambitious project but I'm having a lot of fun with it and I hope that you will too. Links are in the description and on michelinofm.com if you want more information and before I leave you I have a few words to say. You are appreciated, you are beautiful and have a good day. Until I see you next time, auf Wiedersehen!